Vidi well, Madrugs. It is approximately eight o'clock in the morning. The date is April 8th, 2024. I am right outside of Union Station. You can see the CN Tower just behind me. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen the sun set at 3 p.m.? I once, when I was sailing round the Arctic- Shut up, you! That kind of sounds like a Mr. Burns plot from The Simpsons. Well, today is the big day, actually, for the 2024 eclipse. Uh, the eclipse is going to be in complete totality. And Toronto just so happens to skim near the line of totality, but not quite. So that's why I'm here at Union Station now. I'm going to hop on a train, a go train or a go bus, that will take me a bit further south to Hamilton. Hamilton or Grimsby. I might end up in Grimsby. I haven't quite decided on the destination yet. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. A total eclipse like this will not happen again in this part of the world. We have limited time. Let's go see it. To Union, let's go. Jesus wept. Bloody hell. All of these people are going to Niagara right now. We are expecting at least 2 million people to go to Niagara. That's why we're doing everything in our power to not go to Niagara. Go O train, go O train, the very line is closed. Okay, absolute bollocks to go into Niagara. These are all the people going to Niagara, that's the bus. The train actually stops around like uh, exhibition area. It doesn't take you that far. And then it becomes a, an express to Niagara, but I do not want to go to Niagara. We're going to St. Catharines instead. The go is in an absolute kerfuffle. Come on, go. Get yourself together. Uh, well done to the wardens though. They're doing a fantastic job. All right, see you at St. Catharines, hopefully. I am just here now at my destination, which is one stop away from Niagara. That's fine. St. Catharines is where I want to be. Uh, there's a moose loose in the hoose right here. I, to be honest with you, I have no idea what this moose sculpture is all about. It is a really cool sculpture, very Canadian. Oh, it's a moose lodge. Excellent. I'm in St. Catharines because I'm here to view the eclipse from a less packed area. The eclipse, I feel, is something that needs no introduction. Basically, it's when two celestial bodies, that is the sun and the moon, will collide together, or looks like they're gonna collide. Basically in this area, the moon is going to position itself and block out the sun. So starting from Mexico to Texas, going across the Midwest, all the way to Ontario area, but not hitting Toronto, we're due in for the total eclipse. So we're gonna see everything go completely dark. If you are viewing the eclipse, be sure to get an ISO certified set of goggles. This is what you need to view the eclipse, otherwise you're going to damage your eyes, and don't blame me. My eyes! If you are going to look at the eclipse, don't do what Donald Trump did, uh, and look directly at it without some of these. These are the right glasses you'll need. Make sure they are ISO certified. It's important because that comes with the uh, very protective layer that prevents you know, the sun from damaging your eyes. This is what we're going to see out of. Exciting times! Actually, it's going to be exciting times for me because you're not going to be able to see out of this, only I will. However, you are going to see the darkness that surrounds me when I'm looking up at the eclipse. It's still going to be fun to capture this event uh, and just know that it's going to be cool to even see the darkness around. Let's capture what we can see before the apocalyptic event strikes our planet. There she is. We are moving from St. Catherine's suburbs across the bridge there to St. Catherine itself. What do you think about this spot? Not too bad. Here you have it. It's a right solid view of St. Catherine's. <laughs> Not much to report on here, but I am just scouting about for a really solid view. Currently I'm atop of a parking lot. Everyone's buggered off to Niagara. It's not bad actually, it's actually really quiet up here. And it's kind of got a nice view. It's got about two churches. You can almost confuse it for Montreal. Almost. I do notice Lake Ontario in the distance there. And the horizon where the sky meets the lake. <laughs> A 
I'm not sure if the camera can capture it, but behind the clouds, I can indeed see the moon going over the sun. The time is approximately 2.39, and the absolute totality of the eclipse will happen around 3.18 p.m. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be here. Unfortunately, we have a bit of cloud cover. However, there is time for the darkness to engulf me. So we can at least enjoy a bit of that. I'm very happy to be here right now. I'm very happy to be recording. It's a bit of a local adventure out to St. Catharines, an adventure nonetheless. By the way, everyone, happy Margaret Thatcher death day. Don't forget to drink your milk. The sun god is there. To the sun gods. To the sun gods and to the moon gods. And moon gods, lunar gods. That beautiful blue sky is going to be right here when we need it. Bye. Amen to that. Amen to that. Amen, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. <laughs> it's time to take off these glasses. It's oh, time it's to put on these. Yeah, I can't like see shit. Out. There's too much cloud cover. The goggles, they do something. There she comes! Oh, I see it. I can see it through my lenses. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is yeah, so cool. Coolest. Just for context, here's the park around me. Oh, yeah, that park it is like... It's like dark blue. Yeah, <laughs> one of your friends. Oh, I'd look directly at it like an idiot. Oh. No, no. Don't do the Donald Trump thing. The dogs are barking. The phenomenon is now. So during the eclipse, we are expecting three minutes of darkness. Um, enjoy the darkness, guys. Satan is good. Satan is my pal. It's gotten so dark. Rictus Dominus. The Mayans wrote calendars for this. We won't see this again for another 120 years Look how on this gorgeous. side of the world. That, look at that, that's so gorgeous. Man, I love that the Avondale ladies are like, so nah, cool. nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm so happy to be alive right now to witness this. What a time to be alive. Like with that time span, like our kids won't see this. Hi. Oh, wow, that's so cool. That's amazing. Look at that. Lads and lasses. I'm scared. <laughs> Even though we now know the science behind the eclipse and we know what it means, it still doesn't attract that it's magical nonetheless. It's science, it's magic we can explain, but it's still magic. The light's coming back. Darkness only lasts three minutes. I can, I feel and sense the light. Wow. The transition. Okay, put these back on. Wow. Wow. Just like that, it's light. I know, right? Holy shit, this is so cool! This is so cool. What was that, 90 seconds of that? 90 seconds. That last 90 seconds? That was 90 seconds. Crikey. But you're glad you came down here. Uh-huh. I'm so glad. I think Toronto would have seen most of that, to be fair. No, we're not in the um. No, the path. we weren't in the line. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, buddy, I'm glad you came. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you I like. Part of I this. have to adventure it. And there's the tail end of it. Oh man, that's epic. Just as the eclipse passes, and I venture back to Toronto. The skies have opened up. The gods were trolling us here in Canada. Please like and subscribe to fulfill the prophecy. And of course, Jesus wept. We come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby